I certainly hope that rude C7 unit didn't send you over here. Those more recent models have no etiquette programming whatsoever. I think he should be replaced or shipped down to maintenance to direct droids there. But I cannot seem to convince my masters of the logic of the request. Oh, I wouldn't go that far, despite what others would say. A number designation for a C7 unit means far more than an integer increase. Some droids undergo radical changes with each generation. Each numeric jump in sequence can have wide-ranging changes in functionality and temperament. But then, you are a new model yourself. I wouldn't expect you to understand how it feels. Now, was there something I could help you with? I see. Well, good day to you then. I am sorry, but only authorized cargo droids are allowed into the warehouse. I cannot permit you to enter due to the sensitive cargo. No. In fact, I do not have you on my list of Codin's acquisitions. How did you get in here? I see. Well, I have no current use for you. I'll assign you to C6E3. He needs the help to make up for his inferior programming. If you do not wish to comply with these instructions, I can have you given a memory wipe and behavioral reprogramming. Good. Now report to C6E3. You will be assisting him. Oh, you're back. What can I do for you? That C7 droid absolutely infuriates me. Needs help to do my job, do I? I would be happy to help you, but as long as that C7 unit is perched at the door, I can't. Well, if the C7 unit were to be disabled, my programming would require me to take over his responsibilities in his absence. Yes, I would be willing to give you access to the next room. Yes, what is it? You can't be serious. I am not in need of the activation. What are you talking about? What's all the commotion? Oh, I see. Well, that will show him. Obsolete piece of junk indeed. Yes, of course. I'll get that open right away. Just a moment. There. Ah. Vaga hardly pays any attention to the warehouse. He won't even notice the change. Yes, I would appreciate it if you kept it to yourself.
You startled me. What are you doing here? I monitor the transponder codes of all ships leaving the docks, then transmit departure information for any of Vaga the Hutt's freighters. The information is sent to a remote computer system. Oh, I see. In that case, I will upload the transponder codes to you. And here's the blank transponder card you need. You're welcome. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must go back to monitoring the traffic. It is important that relevant departure information is relayed as quickly as possible. supposed to be here. Confident statement. You have the list of Voga's launch codes. You will give these to us now, or else we will be forced to take drastic action. Surprised statement. You are foolish to think we will allow you to take that information back to your master. Amused query. I think you will find the odds are somewhat in our favor. Now will you be giving us the codes, or not? Incredulous statement. Then we will have to take them from you, which I assure you was our preference to begin with.
assigned to the warehouse and report to C7E3 for assignment. Wait, where are you going? You are not authorized to leave the warehouse. Hey, it's our astromech droid. I thought you got sold. I don't believe this. He says he's got the transponder codes that Godo's using to hijack Voga's freighters. We could go to the repair shop by the landing pad to overhaul the Ebonhawk's codes. From there, we should make a nice target for Godo. Yeah, right. You're the one who wanted to sell- I was expecting someone taller. I hope you are not in too much pain to hear my words and understand them. I am Goto, one of the officials representing a percentage of non-sanctioned trading here in both the YouTube system and Republic space. And I had a question for you. Are you a Jedi? Indeed. That is unfortunate. Still, perhaps you have some value. I have gone to considerable expense and effort to bring you here. It is because I have a job. Afraid? No. It is simply difficult to be in so many places at once. Hollow technology is currently the most effective and convenient way to communicate my commands over vast distances. At least until Aerotech develops the new Hollow transceiver within two standard months, but by then it will simply be too late. There is something important to me I need protected. The Republic, it is broken. What happened on Paragus has set in motion events that I can no longer control. Not to be melodramatic, but I fear it has broken the galaxy irrevocably. This has occupied much of my attention, and there seems to be no predictable way to resolve the situation. In one standard month, the Republic will collapse. Not due to war or secession, but because it lacks the infrastructure to support itself. It is unknown to all but a few, but the Sith won the Jedi Civil War. Even with their supposed victory, the war left the Republic on the brink of collapse. Rather than remain and help solidify the Republic, however, Revan chose to leave known space. A frustrating turn of events, as a rallying figurehead could have done much to restore order. There is something moving in the galaxy that lies beyond the ability of my instruments to detect or predict. I believe it to be a legacy of the Sith, 
but I have been unable to determine the source. Whatever this presence is, it is staging strikes at key figures throughout the Republic, and through some unknown means, it is causing the destruction of worlds. Qatar, a Miraluka world in the Mid-Rim was one such place. I have reason to suspect there was a gathering of Jedi on that world when it was rendered lifeless. I cannot find any pattern in these attacks, and it is a source of frustration to me. There is some clue, however, that perhaps the Jedi are linked to these attacks, or that the targets are significant in some way I have yet to discover. You misunderstand me. I do not wish to stop the Sith any more than I wish to stop the Jedi. It is simply important to me that the infighting amongst these Jedi religious branches be resolved so the galaxy may be put back together. I do not care which one triumphs. I only want the universe to settle down for a while, catch its breath. All these constant crises are getting somewhat repetitive. You could say I am something of a patriot. Although I was unable to serve during the troubles with the Mandalorians or against the aggressors known as Malak and Revan, I am able and willing to serve now. The problem is I can find no side to choose. Both are hidden from me as they seem to be hiding from each other. Irritating. It is like a Dejaric board where neither player can see the other, nor see all the pieces. It is not a fair game, an equitable game. If you care nothing for the... There is no margin for error when I say that these Sith seek to murder you and all Jedi everywhere. They have been quite deficient. And when they dispose of you, there will be nothing left to stop them. And the galaxy will fall under their influence. You misunderstand. I merely wished the situation resolved. If the Sith are the more capable of both parties, then it is only logical that they fill the vacuum the Jedi and the Senate cannot. I am a businessman. The Republic needs stability to survive, prosper, and grow. Whether it is led by the Sith or supported by the Jedi is of no consequence to me. It is the proximity alarm. We are under attack. Somehow, your allies have found you. Unexpected. You will remain here under guard. I must see to the defense of my ship.
Yes. What is it that drives you? Have you done as I asked? Very well. Then know this. All situations contain within them the potential for violence. To know how to hold that violence in check, to restrain it, and use it to hold the situation to your advantage, is the way of any wielder of the Force. Skill does not always draw from the Force. But it is a measure of power nonetheless. It can grant knowledge, help steady oneself when one's thoughts are in chaos, or grant enlightenment. Much can be achieved without the Force, as you know. Life continues, persists, and may be helped or harmed as a result. Now I am tired. Leave me to my meditations. Thank <laughs> you. 
So you have returned from exile, though I do not know why. You were always difficult to read, when you were tied to the Force, and even more when it was lost to you. But I can sense the death of others upon your hands. I know how this will end. But I will answer your questions, if only for some measure of peace. In exchange, I wish only the answer to one. Why have you done this to the Jedi? Was it revenge or something more? But you are. Whatever this threat is, it leaves echoes in the Force, wounds that do not heal. It is something we had never felt before, until you stood before us in judgment, and we exiled you. You are more involved than you know. Whatever is striking at us, it is something tied to you, something you had experienced and survived. Some of us sought to understand you, to find you. It seems we succeeded, even though we thought you were lost to us. Now, as we hoped, you have returned, and you know nothing that could help us. Such irony. What I can tell you, I will. We told you it was because you followed Revan to war, but you ask because you are not certain of that answer. Nor were we. The day we cast you out, that is the moment I decided to leave the Order. Because I do not believe we truly faced the reasons you were exiled. And if we do not examine such truths, 
then we are already lost. I think it was because we were afraid. It is a difficult thing to live one's life with the Force. To see a vision of what it would be like to be severed from it, it is more frightening than you know. Very well. They have scattered, but there is purpose in their movements. It is both to hunt and draw out our enemies. Somehow, they, we, are being targeted through the Force, and when Jedi gather, we are vulnerable. So we have chosen places where it is difficult to sense others through the Force, whether on planets dense with life or touched by war. In such places, we may conceal ourselves, gather information without presenting ourselves as targets. It was part of Kavar's plan. Yes, he felt if our enemy cannot detect us, then perhaps they would believe themselves victorious and show themselves. And we knew that the war would be lost if we continued to act as we had. I do not know where they wander now. There are few of us, though. Too few. And I have not heard from them in some time. Brooke still lives? I had not felt his presence for some time. Bosca Dwana. Yes, is something wrong? Of course, it would be my pleasure. I try to treasure these moments before the next crisis begins. Very well. What is it you wish to know? I imagine it very well. Yes, I have been trained by some of the best researchers in the Republic, which is a humbling experience, let me tell you. But if you ever need some medical items broken down or constructed, let me know.
Yes, is something... You have no wounds that I can see, although the... It is illusionary, the strength you feel, but I will not debate it with you. Your choices... Very well. I imagine... Care to explain why we have that psychotic Wookiee with us? All right, but this won't end well. Trust me. All right. It's another story. back and it all right no.
At last you understand, tiny Jedi. You? Who are you? What are you doing on this sh- Enough. What did you see in the web of worlds that have died? What did you see when you saw it through the Force? I see the death of the galaxy. Of life. At first, I thought it was just conquest. But it's more terrible than that. It's an echo, spreading outwards, killing everything. It's not possible. You are a wasted pawn of the Republic, young one. You could have been so much more, even with your wide-eyed innocence, your naive love for others. Now you understand the magnitude of what is being done. I know you. Not even the markings of the dark side can hide it. Why have you done this? I? Do you think I seek the death of all living things? There is no victory in such things. I do not want to win our war like this, little Jedi. When I win, I wish it to be because I was right, my teachings true. How long have you been here, among us? You know the truth. I have always been here, watching and listening to the echo you have found. You know its source and what must be done. I will not let you hurt her. Little Jedi, you cannot stop me. But you will forget this. Your mind is worse than the others, so open, so trusting. Your feelings for her are your weakness. Yet I will gift you with this. You will remember what you have discovered when the time is correct. Know that you have seen what formerly only I knew. Now we shall see if you have the strength to stop what comes. Yes, General. Yes, is something wrong? Very well. Let me see if I can treat your wounds. There, that should do it. Do you need anything else? You have no wounds that I can see, although the matter of your spirit is something you should address. Very well. Yes, I had been trained by some of the best researchers in the Republic, which is a humbling experience, let me tell you. But if you ever need some medical items broken down or constructed, let me know. Yes? Very well. Yes? Is something wrong? Very well. I imagine... Yes? Have you come with questions? That crystal is bonded to you. Through you, it acquires its character and strength. And through it, your power is enhanced. Let me focus on the crystal for a moment. There. Now it is fully in tune with you again. Is there something else you wished? The beast is a lesson in strength. Learn that lesson, then you will understand. The beast's strength is prodigious, and you can learn much from it, or draw upon it. His life can be a beacon in the dark places of the galaxy where there is no life. Ask. Ignorance. And perhaps they do not remember, or care. It is of no consequence to me, or to them. Am I? Then perhaps you should know, there are techniques in the Force, where one can cloud the memory of others, make their presence so small as to be unnoticed. And on the worlds where we have encountered these Jedi, there is much life and death where sensing such things is difficult. As I said, it is of no consequence to me or to them. No, but if I did, you would never know, so my words only carry as much worth as you believe them to. But perhaps you will understand this, that perhaps it is important to me that you see me and my actions uncloaked. 
It is important that your judgments, whether be good or bad, stem from seeing me as I truly am. Then you are learning quickly. Distrust is an effective shield and should be carried always. Ask. A discussion, perhaps, for a... systems. Assessment. It appears I have suffered considerable damage and dismemberment. I can feel all the cracks in my motivators. And my central control cluster seems to have taken several repeated blaster shots at close range. How crude. Answer. I do not know, Master. It is curious that I was here, although this place does seem familiar. Extrapolation. Perhaps someone was already in the process of rebuilding me. It may be I was needed for some task. Answer. Oh, that is impossible, Master. If I were out to kill you, we would not be speaking. And regardless, I am a unique model. Why, to think that there would be other versions of me would be unacceptable. Statement. Master, I must inform you that your attempts at humor are wasted on a droid such as I. As I have expressed, I am unique. Resignation. Very well, Master. If you persist in your attempts at humor, I shall indulge you. Let me check the ship's records, and we will settle this matter once and for all. Conclusion. You speak the truth. This discovery is also causing me some degree of anger and humiliation. Mockery. Am I all right? Oh, yes, 
Master, why, I am fine. Statement. I mean, I've only just been reactivated, only to find that there are substandard duplicates of me running all over the galaxy, corroding my good name. But if they are, in fact, hunting you, then I look forward to the opportunity to meet these units and educate them in proper assassination protocols. Conclusion. So it seems I need you for the time being. Answer. It seems you would know more than I. My memory centers are experiencing some setbacks. Reflection. Of course, for some reason, that does not alarm me. I suspect I have suffered such repeated memory failures before. Still, the loss of my higher combat and assassination protocols is shameful and degrading. Answer. If furthermore, I seem to have no dis... Recitation. Yes, as I said, I am an assassin droid. It is my primary function to burn holes through meat bags that you wish removed from the galaxy. Master. Oh, how I hate that term. Answer. Yes, Master. Answer. Yes, Master. HK-47 is ready to serve.
business is concluded, Jedi. Yes, General. HK-47, I did not realize that you still existed, especially now that the other generations are activated. Query, what is it you wish, Fat One? I see that your recent reassembly has not affected your behavior core, nor your attitude. Statement, if I require a similar diagnostic in the future, I shall seek out the Iridonian. Oh, I do not think so. There is much work that needs to be done first. Statement. My memory core has suffered some damage. Statement. Yet somehow, a gap in my circuits makes me feel as if I should remember you. Statement. This is all the more important since during my routine inspection of all potential escape routes from this vessel, I made an interesting discovery. Observation. The Nava computer is voice locked. As a consequence, you are now responsible for course corrections and astrogation. Statement. That is indeed a great burden. It also raises many questions. Query. Why would someone lock the Nava computer? Answer. Presumably to hide where one has been. Statement. I believe this ship has been somewhere. Somewhere you wish to keep hidden. 